Hey guys, Chantel here. Uh, wanted to do this video while I was outside. So you're going to hear a little noise in the background from the cars. But I bought this canvas that I created outside to take a photo of it. And it was so pretty, I figured I'd do the video here too. So this project here is made for um, the Cutting Cafe's design team. This will be our post on the 21st of this month in a couple days. And we were doing a super size project of any of the items in the shop. And so I chose to take the scallop. There's a file in there where you can make um, the scallop shapes. And I just increased the size of the scallop pieces as large as I could on my mat for the silhouette cutting mat and um, I cut it out four times and I glued them all together as the instructions um, to make a rosette flower and um, then I cut out some pieces I also had to make these shapes here with this with the um, the silhouette big enough so that they would fit in the area that I wanted them to there you know and um, the word beautiful I just typed that up and sized it up and printed it on some pretty paper I can't remember this paper line that I use here but it is from um, paper studio it's one that I've had for quite some time and let's see the pretty little girl there I colored her up with my Copics tried to use some of the skills that I learned in the Copics class that I took recently maybe two months ago um, she's okay I'm still perfecting it you know I'm my, my worst critic I guess uh, but she looks really nice in this picture um, on this canvas with th those words be beautiful because we are all beautiful in our own right um, and so I thought this was very appropriate um, stamp from Prima to use for it, what I was going for and then um, let's see I put everything together I love butterflies so I wanted to add a couple of those um, cut those out with my Martha Stewart punch butterfly punch uh, that canvas is I picked that up at Michael's it was a two pack and it is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I just went into my garage where I have tons and tons of spray paint and I sprayed it up first I started with a coral color if you can see that like around the edges there like around the trim right but the whole thing was coral and then um, what I found was my scallop was getting lost in the background, so I wanted to darken it up. Um, I did take a stencil, a heart stencil. You might not be able to see it too much on the canvas, but in real life you can see it's a heart stencil that I use to put some hearts on the air first with this darker color. Um, and now she doesn't want to stand up with this darker color um, paint, but I didn't really like the way it looked, so I kind of covered it up a little bit more, which actually made it perfect, because you can kind of see the hearts kind of popping through, right, a little bit. In real life, you can really see it. I'm not really sure, because I'm standing um, behind the sun, so the sun is kind of glaring on my camera here. Uh, but it's so pretty, so, so, so pretty. I love it, I love the way it turned out. Um, so the scallop rosette shape is from the Cutting Cafe, and uh, it's super sized. I made it as big as I can make it on the silhouette and created that background for my uh, sentiment and my prima doll, my prima girl. I don't even know her name, but maybe I'll look it up, and by the time I post this on YouTube, I'll put it down in the description. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.